Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another King of Pirates All Star video. And today is a very special day, guys, because today for the first time we are going to use our Terry Bogart against his eternal rival, Giz Howard. That's a big deal for me because previously when Terry was released as an SS fighter, I couldn't really level that fighter up to a very high awakened level. Uh, and, and the character was not really ideal for doing guild damage, but he was a very strong fighter nevertheless. But finally, we are having a very, very strong Terry in the game. He's a very high DPS character, guys. And let's go and talk about the team a little bit. And let me take you to the guild team. And boy, this character is so much freaking enjoyable to play with. For the sim simple reason that this character doesn't waste time. 100% DPS. And let me talk about the entire team. And I'm using this team combination. Kazmi, the great support in the game. And also Guile. And there is multiple supports you can use. You can use Guile also in K in the place of Guile. You can also, uh, also use Shizuru. Let me show you. Uh, Shizuru has certain features. She has certain features in her kit that is going to increase the strike skill buff of the characters. And we all know that Terry is the king of strike skill. So that's a great buff. But what I found personally is Guile is providing more buff. Guile is going to work in many ways guys for example if you go to guile skill if you go to his default finisher that i'm going to use this is going to increase all team members attack by 100 percent for 15 seconds that's one thing and also if you go to the core uh where is that core look at this increase attack of allies excluding cell by 300 percent for 15 seconds when tagging out remember guys these two buffs they are going to last for 15 seconds. Th this important information. This is going to be very important information that I'm going to talk about while doing the gameplay. So I found that Guile is doing a little bit more damage than uh, if we use Shizuru. And for, of course, Kazmi is a great uh, support. We don't have to replace her. For Guile, with Guile, I'm using the Striker. And her job, if you go to the skill, if you check out the striker skill, this is a striker skill. This is going to deal shock damage equal to 22%. Shock damage is what we need. And she's going to do shock damage for 10 seconds. So these times are important, guys. Why? Because whenever she is, uh, whenever Guile will be in the battlefield, we can tag also this uh, character. And when she will be in the field, she's going to apply shock to the boss. And why shock is important? Because of this mechanism, vulnerability weakness increased damage received when vulnerable, chilled, or shocked. That in a simple simple language, it means that when you uh, apply shock and chill, these two dots at the same time to the boss, his meter is going to be broken. All right. And how to apply this dot? So we know that we are having dot from uh, shock dot from this character. But where is the chill? We're having chill in Kazmi. In Kazmi, if you go to level 1 active skill. Where is active skill 1? This one is used to apply cold spell to all enemies. This is chill. Cold spell and chill are the same thing. So you'll see that in the rotation, I'll use this skill first. Because I need to apply chill to the boss. And also, there are some additional effects too. But chill is the most important thing here. So we're getting chill from her. And also we're getting shock from this girl that is blue mary also kazmi has another feature in her kit let me quickly show you that the core in the core she has this ability to uh, increase attack of all team members 100 percent for 20 seconds this is we are also going to use we are also getting buff from there so a lot of buff from both of these characters let's talk about terry for Terry, I am using this banner set card. Nothing really new to talk about. Let's talk about this option card. I am using this option card that is going to increase attack by 4%, critical rate 4%, critical damage 15%, increase attack type attack uh, by 4%. Great option card, always available in the game, entirely for free, a four star, 5 star card, but still great effects. I am not using the banner other set card, other option card, because for example, the other option card this one is not going to help Terry at all because 
this one has a middle if if effect of basic attack buff 200 percent that's not useful for terry but this card amazing increase ultimate fighters attack by 50 percent increase critical rate three percent very very useful let me show you the plugins and imprint stones banner imprint stones entire set i'm using star and moon both of them all taken from the banner entirely for free however i did a change in the circle stone the circle stone i am adding this stone from the ultimate volume one because the banner stone that we are using we are using let me quickly find the banner stone this is the banner stone uh where is the banner stone let me quickly find the banner stone guys and this is going to be the banner stone that means the uh, the banner is offering this stone this is going to increase ultimate fighters basic attack damage by 50 percent which is not good for terry terry cannot use the basic attack damage so i just changed the stone i think there are better stones available from if you take the stone from the benimaru banner athena banner i think that's also going to do very helpful for plugins i'm i'm not really having the ideal plugins i'm just still using them this one tier 2 core active 3 skill buff enhancement also some attack this one uh, some attack this one uh, some attack once again these are not ideal plugins guys this one increase active 3 skill, skill damage by 28 percent this one is a little bit good because his main feature is his active 3 skill so i this one is kind of buffing that and this one 14.7 percent critical damage rate which is always good for any kind of fighters so let's go and start the gameplay guys we have to do the cpg because if we waste our time without doing the 3pg the time is going to be finished guild has only two minutes so we have to do the 3pg so the time is wasting and our awakening and phantom awakening skills are also getting developed but we are not also finishing the time of the guild so that's why we have to do frequent 3pgs now guile is here what we are going to do couple of skills we'll do a 3pg and because we have to do 3pg because we have to make our other characters ready for the rotation so let's do it doing the cpg really cool now we done the 3pg now what are you gonna do we are going to do couple of skills and we will throw the default finisher why because the default finisher is having having the ability to buff all the characters the default finisher has the ability to increase the attack of all the teammates that means terry is also going to get the attack buff and that that attack buff has a certain duration 15 seconds so what we have to do within these 15 seconds we have to pull kazmi in and break the meter with her and we have to bring terry in and do the damage within these 15 seconds we have to do it and that's possible guys it might sound a little bit impossible or hard or complex but with practice you can easily do it guys so let's move on we are doing a couple of skills and we have enough pg for the default now we are going to throw the default then we are going to pull kazmi in and we are going to do her skills and also as you can see that we also summon the striker blue mary the striker is also in she was a striker for guile and this striker has shock if she is here that means she has already applied shock to the boss you'll see the boss's meter color has been changed look at this the color has been changed a little bit changed why because kazmi uh, sorry blue mary has applied the shock and also in the guile we are using a couple of option cards I show I showed these option cards are also applying some shock and some chill as a result his boss's meter is getting melted slowly but surely watch these guys now we are going to proceed further now Kazmi will e come in and Kazmi has chill in her kit she is going to melt the meter even quicker let's do do this guys we are now throwing the default because we need buff So now the default we are throwing 
as soon as the default is done, we are going to pull Kazmi in. Look at the meter, how much meter we are having, a little bit not too much. Now we have to do Kazmi's 3, 1, 2, 3 skill or 3, 2, 1 doesn't really matter. But her skill number 2 is going to buff the other teammates. Her skill number 2 also has uh, chill, uh, uh, sorry, her skill number 1. Her skill number 1 has chill and her skill number 2 has some features that is going to give us buff. Her skill number 3 uh, I think also have. Just put all, press all the 3 skills very very quickly and keep repeating tapping on skill number 1. That is going to break the meter because that has chill. So we are going to break the meter and we are going to bring Terry in. Meter broken guys. Meter broken, Terry is just tagged in. Alright? Now what are you gonna do? We are simply going to tap on Awakening, Phantom Awakening and long press skill number 3. That's all we have to do. You don't have to do anything. Just Awakening, Phantom Awakening, long press skill number 3. That will do the damage guys. Watch this. Look at this guys. Look at the damage numbers. 4 trillion 4 trillion That's a lot of damage guys That's a lot of damage My god Now of course we are going to do the 3pg That's the rotation guys That's the rotation Now Terry has finished the 3pg His rotation is completed Now what are you gonna do We are going to pull uh, Guile once again we're gonna do the three, uh, this three skills. We're gonna do the three PG. Then the same rotation. Watch this. The skills, three PG. Nice three PG of Kyle. Very powerful one. All right. Now we have to do a couple of skills, and you have to do the default finisher. Now one thing, guys. If you see that there is not enough skill. That is going to give you power to have enough of uh, enough PG to m throw the default finisher. Press the awakening skill or press the phantom awakening skill. Even at level 1, 2 or 3 this character can use these skills. So that is going to reset the active skills. Watch this. See, I just press the awakening skill. Once again everything is reset. Now I can do a couple of more skills and get some more uh, PG for the next round and also you can see my default is ready now I'm gonna throw the default and that's gonna buff the entire team throwing the default Kazmi in doing the skills really quick finally Terry in and boom 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 we are doing the damage look at this 7 trillion 8 trillion 9 trillion we are about to get and boy 10 trillion 10 trillion freaking damage on the second rotation guys Remarkable, amazing, and I'll I'll talk about his the, the main feature when I, he, when he is going to do his uh, damage. Once again, doing with guile. Now once again, one one thing, one thing, one thing. Wait, 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 wait. One thing. See, the boss went to iframe, and we're kind of waiting. Boss went to the iframe, uh, we kind of wasted our time. Why? Because when the boss is doing the iframe thing, that means his hand is above his head, he's doing the same thing every time. This is called iframe. And when he is on iframe, nothing is going to hit him. That means whatever skill I'm going to spend when he is on iframe, that skills are going to be wasted. They are not going to do the damage, first of all. Secondly, I won't even gain any PG from them. So the best idea when the boss is doing the iframe, just do nothing. Just wait. Wait for him to finish his iframe, then start doing the attack. And that's what I'm going to do now. Now skill skills. Default. Tag Kazmi in. Remember that when whenever tag Kazmi is inside, first tap his skill number one because that has chill. First tap skill number one. Then press the other skill and also you can uh, tap on uh, skill number one repeatedly. That's also possible. But 
don't forget to stab the skill number two three also because some of the skills are also having this uh, increase uh, attack to the enemy or increase buff this sort of features but her skill number one is chill skill tap that one first that is going to make the make it make the meter break so easily let's proceed further Kerry is in now we are going to do the skills now you see that we are just going to uh, press all this phantom awakening and awakening and then long press the skill number three and it has a certain duration after that simply lift your finger and tap it again that's the that's the way Ta long press uh, first of all long press the skill number three it will have a duration when the duration is finished just lift your finger tap again this is how you do it guys let's do it okay we're tapping long tap long tap see the duration it's ended now we remove the finger tap again it's doing the same thing again now we do the 3pg this is how we do the damage guys 17 trillion guys we're already having about 20 trillion damage within one minute mark impossible damage guys as a level 60 fighter i mean he's nothing he's nothing is upgraded his, his cores are not upgraded his plugins are not ideal his set card is not ideally set up for him but still he is doing massive damage guys massive damage all right so we will watch a couple of more rotation guys then i'm going to take you to the final score look at these guys look at the damage numbers and you see that terry doesn't waste a single moment i mean the mo mo the moment the meter is broken and terry is in he just probably has to spend a microsecond to tap on this phantom awakening and awakening skill that's the time he needs that's all and from, from that he's simply doing the damage he's just long pressing the skill number three he is wasting time nowhere else so that's why the dps of terry is going to be probably the highest in the game ever because one single reason is he is not wasting his damage skill anywhere he is 100 percent using his damage abilities to do the damage to the boss that's the most important part and the most impressive part of the terry guys so now you can see that we are having a lot of lot of damages and let me uh, go a little bit further so you can see the final scores and we are nearing 13 seconds to go we are doing 34 trillion can we do 40 trillion can we do it 10 seconds left 10 seconds left 8 seconds left 7 seconds left can we do it look at these guys look at the dps look at the dps oh my god Within a couple of seconds, we got several trillion damages. And finally, we have reached 42 trillion. 42 trillion with only level 60 fighters. Nothing is ideal. Still doing impressive amount of damage, guys. What should I say? Terry is, has, uh, is proving his worth as a top damage dealer in the game. And as I said before that, his DPS is high due to one single reason that he has a very concentrated kit and he doesn't really waste a time any time at all so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and let me know, know in the comments that how your gameplay with terry is going on are you enjoying are you getting really good scores let me know in the comments and i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends